All right, this shit is just crazy, man. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm seeing here. For 50 bucks, you're getting a frame, motors, flight controller, two sets of props, and an all-in-one cam VTX. 50 bucks. That's insane. Okay, if you were to buy, let's say, this camera separate, that's 25 plus the uh, flight controller is 15 so that's 40 uh, the frame is around 10 so there's 50 so you're getting a set of motors and two sets of props for free pretty much now that's a lot better than getting ripped off like paying a hundred dollars for an all-in-one camera because that's how much the VA 1100 used to cost and that was the only all-in-one camera available and everybody was using it it started out the Nano QX FPV came out and it had it on it and everybody was going nuts for it and then people started taking those cameras off and putting them on other things then they started selling the camera separate and it was a hundred dollars ninety nine dollars and uh, then from there it just more and more companies started making them um, until now they're they're twenty bucks <laughs> for an all-in-one camera which is crazy so I'm going to show you guys, I would don't want to just show you this, this is awesome, there's also another one, this one. Uh, everything's the same except the props, those are now Hubson props, the other ones look like Ladybird props, and then it's a different frame, but that's it. Uh, and this frame is made for an all-in-one camera, so that's pretty cool. Um, both those frames look like they break pretty easy, but I don't know for sure, I think they might be one and a half millimeter. Oh no, that one's one millimeter. The other one could be one and a half. I thought it was. Uh, it doesn't say. So, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it doesn't say how thick it is. Seven grams. I like the looks of that frame, but if it's one millimeter thick, then it's going to break way too easy. So then you got this other new flight controller from Iashin. Uh It looks the same as some of the other ones, but it's like half the size. It's tiny, teeny tiny. That's crazy. That's the smallest brush flight controller I've ever seen. Well, for a clean flight or beta flight one anyway. It's probably about the same size as like a Hubson board or a... I don't know. I don't... I don't think that the Nano QX board is smaller. It looks like that's smaller, but I don't know for sure. Then, so you got the uh, regular size Iashin F3 brush, or maybe that's the Evo one, the Happy Model. Yeah, that's the Happy Model one. Don't buy that one. Do not buy that piece of shit. It's a big pile of shit. Okay, this one is awesome. I definitely recommend this one. This is the one I've been using for a while now and it's awesome. No problems at all. 16 bucks. Can't beat it for an F3 brush board, you know? Then you got... If you go to uh, categories, toys and hobbies, uh, RC toys, FPV system, click on newest. Then you got two brand new all-in-one cameras from Iashin. This one's 19.99 and it's a 25 milliwatt, 40 channel. It's four and a half grams, 3.3 to 5 volt, uh, four blade antenna. Uh, oh, that's cool! It come, even comes with a plug that goes from that plug to a Hubson style plug. The wire is underneath, but you can move it to the side, and it would go in between the two plates. So that's cool. It has an LCD screen with a button on top. Changing the channels. Four and a half grams, that's awesome. Same size as the FX 797 or a VA 1100, VA 2500. Nice and small, not big like the Iashin MC01. If the MC01 came out with the plug on the side or on the back or something, and uh, they shrunk it down to this size, then that would be an awesome camera because the picture looks so amazing. But I bet you this one looks just as good. And it's small and light and light. 
3.3 to 5 volt, 25 milliwatt for $20. That's just crazy. And then, even crazier, is they also have a 200 milliwatt one for $23. That's just insane. 600 TVL, all the same specs as the other one. Uh, except this one is actually... Oh, that's pretty cool. Power failure memory. It'll remember what channel it was on after powering off. That's really nice to have. Um, because I can't stand it when I go to fly and I have to change the channel to, to what channel it's on. Um, I always have to do that and it, it's a pain in the ass. I try to set most of my VTXs to the same channel for my goggles so I can just plug in my goggles and it's on the channel, but it doesn't always work out, so... This one is in stock right now, 200 milliwatt, $23. So I'd scoop some up if I were you. Uh, the 25 milliwatt one is a pre-order at the moment. I believe, yeah, pre-order. Man, yesterday it was like 30 pre-orders, now it's 168. <laughs> so yeah, I would scoop up these 200 milliwatt ones, they're pretty awesome. And then you also got... Uh, let's see, if I search, um, micro quadcopter, you got a few more flight controllers. Oh, also the Eishin QX90, the camera that comes with that. That you can buy separately now for 25 bucks, and it looks pretty cool, but doesn't look as cool as those new ones, so I would go for those new ones for sure. Um, oh, there's the King Kong has a new uh, brush flight controller now too. It looks pretty nice. 16 bucks. It has the satellite plug, and it has the other two um, plugs like how the Size Guy has. Uh, I forgot what they're called. The uh, I can't think right now. But it looks pretty nice. It looks well built, and I definitely want to try this one out. It it is a hex. If you want to do a hex, you don't have to do a hex. It has a boot um, button, so that's really nice. No other ones have that. So this looks like a really nice one. S bus, PPM, and serial. Looks like uh, comes with silicone wiring too, so that's nice. And it uses the Alien Flight um, and Clean Flight, the target. So that's cool. Four grams. It's a little bit heavier than the other ones. The other ones are like two grams. Um, but it is a... Oh, it is a F1. I thought it was a F3, so it's a F1. That's okay, though. Still will fly amazing, guaranteed. But it looks really nice. The USB on the side, that's nice. And then it has these little grooves in here for uh, mounting it. That's really nice too. Wait, the bottom... What's the bottom look like? Okay, the bottom's fairly flat. It's pretty flat actually, yeah. that's Pretty sure that's the bottom. So I guess all your wiring goes from the bottom. I don't really like that too much. But not a deal breaker. I would definitely still try it out. There's just so many brush flight controllers coming out now that, that are under 20 bucks. It's crazy. So I just want to show a few things and uh, my opinion of some stuff and uh, maybe help you figure out what you want to get. So thanks for watching.